Hamilton County prosecutor made it clear today that Joe Mixon is not being charged in connection with this crime. However, his sister and her boyfriend faced several charges after that shooting took place right outside of his home a few weeks ago. And earlier today, our cameras were there when Shalonda Mixon was taken into custody. A 10 day investigation closes in on Joe Mixon's sister and her boyfriend. This comes after a 16 year old was shot in the foot outside the running back's home while the teen was playing Nerf Wars with other teens. You can see part of his toy gun was struck. It's unbelievable that something like this could happen. It's hard to fathom how anyone could aim a gun at a child, let alone fire 10 to 11 rounds at, the, at him. It's a miracle he was not killed. Today, Shalonda Mixon, Joe Mixon's sister, and her boyfriend, Lamont Brewer, were indicted in the shooting. Our cameras captured the moment when Shalonda Mixon was taken into custody at her home. She's charged with one count of tampering with evidence and one count of obstructing justice. Prosecutors say she can be seen in this picture picking up shell casings after the incident. They believe Brewer is the one who pulled the trigger on the teen. He's charged with one count of felonious assault, one count of tampering with evidence, and two counts of having weapons while under disability. The teenager heard multiple shots whizzing by his head and immediately ducked behind a tree, fearing for his life. Hamilton County Prosecutor Power says Joe Mixon was home at the time of the incident and was legally holding a gun, but she says he did not commit a crime. One neighbor we talked with isn't surprised after hearing the developments in the case. Oh, Joe Mixon is... He stops, we chat, he's been over to my house, he couldn't be more friendly, uh, couldn't be nicer. I know really nothing about his sister, Shalonda. Now, Lamont Brewer has not been arrested and it's unclear if he's still in this area or back in California where he's from. We're live tonight from the Hamilton County Justice Center. Rachel Hersheimer, WLWT News 5.